Who are you going to call when you have an emergency? That's what we're going to go over today at Tommy Flames Firehouse. Hi, I'm Tommy Flames, and welcome to Tommy Flames Firehouse. Today, we're going to go over who do you call when you have an emergency? No, not Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? No, I'm meaning a true emergency. Like somebody's house is on fire or somebody's not feeling very well and they're very sick. Do you know that number? You're right. Nine, one, one. Great job. Now, let's go over it one more time. Ready? Nine, one, one. Great job. Now we always say 911, but what is 911? 911 is the number that you call when you need help. From the fire department? From the police department? Or if you need an ambulance? call, you're going to go to dispatchers. They're really nice. They're there to help. And they're going to call out whoever it is that you need. 911, what's your emergency? So, when do you call 911 and when don't you call 911? Well, we call 911 when it's a true emergency. Like, somebody's in out or there's a fire. Somebody's in trouble, or maybe if somebody's really sick. You call 911 when it's a true emergency. Now, when don't you call 911? We don't call 911 when we're just sitting at home and we're just bored. Or if we're lost and we need directions. Or if we just don't know something and we need information. You don't call 911 in those situations. And also, you don't prank call 911. And what's a prank call? A prank call is when somebody calls and then they just hang up. 911, what's your emergency? Or somebody calls and they tell a really dumb joke and then they hang up. Is the refrigerator running? Well, you better go catch it! <laughs> so, what happens if you accidentally call 911? Don't hang up, you're not in trouble. Stay on the line and tell them that you accidentally called 911 and that there's no emergency. You're not in trouble. Alright, alright. I think you guys got this. So, let's learn how to dial 911. Okay? So, two important things. We need to stay calm and we need to speak loud. Now, we're not talking about that. I'm just saying speak loud enough so dispatch can hear you. Okay, now we're gonna get the phone out and we're gonna hit 911. Now, let's go over that one more time. We're gonna get the phone out and we're gonna dial 911. 911, what's your emergency? Now, dispatch is gonna get on there and ask you what your emergency is. Now, you need to tell them are you having a fire? Is somebody sick? Is somebody hurt? They're here to help. The next thing that they're going to ask is two important things. What's your name and what's your address? So we really need to start learning what our name is and what's our address. Now, dispatch is also going to ask you a bunch of questions. Remember, they're here to help. So answer the questions as much as you can. Now, after this video is done, have your parents go over and show you how to dial 911. That's an emergency. Somebody needs our help. Let's roll. 
Help! Help! We're a ladder! Now let's pack it up, boys. Yeah. job saving that lady. Now kids, we need to remember that it's very important when we're calling 911. So, we're going to go over these tips one more time. And speak loud enough for dispatch to hear you. The number we call is 911. Be ready to give them your name, address, and phone number. Stay calm and listen. Dispatch is here to help. Don't hang up on them until they tell you to. Calling 911 is not a joke. Alright, let's remember these pointers if we ever have to call 911. That's the end of our episode. I hope you guys had an awesome time at Tommy Flames Fire. I hope you guys learned something. And remember, at the end of the day, be your own hero, and I'll see you at the big one. Hey parents. If your kids love our videos, hit the subscribe button. We'll notify you when we post our newest videos. And if your kids want any of our junior firefighter gear, stop by TommyFlames.com. We'll see you at the big one.